now, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands joining us live and the millions joining us around the world, it's time to meet the players as the world number one takes on the German number one. Firstly, ladies and gentlemen, from Germany, making history as the first German player in PDC history to make it into the quarterfinals. The German dance masters finalist, the German German Gabriel. Then the world number one and 2021 world champion looking to maybe show us his title credentials tonight. He's been all right so far, certainly good enough or he wouldn't be here, but not at that top tier price that we saw at times during 2022. He has wins over Luke Woodhouse, Raymond Van Barneveld and Joe Sedesosa so far with a tournament average of just under 94. So what can the former champ produce here tonight? Both previous times he's been in the quarterfinals, he's gone on to make the semis as well. Well, he's up against a man who's here for the first time. Not just a big moment for him, but Babe Gabriel Clemens became the first German to make it to the quarterfinals of the PDC World Championship. So a little slice of history for him this evening. The 25th seed has looked pretty good. Wins over Willie O'Connor, Jim Williams. That was actually an incredible comeback, comeback victory. And then over Alan Suter in the last round, averaging just under 96, a slightly more than price for the tournament. And these two, they haven't actually met on the hockey for a couple of years now. And in four previous meetings, well, Price has won all four. How will this one go, then? To guide you through our first match of the night, I'll hand you over to Mark Webster. And good evening to Rod Studd. Good evening, Emma. Thanks very much. Good evening, everyone. All is quiet on New Year's Day, according to the song. Well, not inside Alexandra Palace, it isn't. The darty party is in full swing. Already today, Muswell Hill has become Boot Hill for Johnny Clayton and Stephen Bunting. So which Arrowsmith will be next through the Ali Pali exit door? Gowen Price or Gabriel Clemens? One of them will be in the semis, the other one will be packing their bags. Good evening, Mark. It's a big moment for Gabriel Clemens. History-making run, first German quarter-finalist. And it's not Rod as if he's just got lucky through the draw. He's played well. He's, he's survived a match start in one game, but that was a brilliant game with Jim Williams, and this represents a big chance. He knows he's playing the number one seed, but it's not the number one seed at his very best. And if Clemens can click into gear, 
He could make more history and go on to the semi-finals. It's interesting to note that Gerwin Price came into the quarter-final stage with the lowest tournament average of the eight remaining players at 93.76, a couple of points below Gabriel Clemens's average. So if Clemens can play as he has been doing during the tournament and average around 96, he'll be a threat to Price based on what we've seen so far. We know, as you and Wayne and Emma discussed, if Price plays at his best, Clemens has got a big, big problem because we know Price can average in excess of 100. In fact, at this stage last year, he averaged 99 and a half against Michael Smith. It wasn't enough on that occasion. Yeah, missed some match starts on that occasion. Gerwin Price. Yeah, knows and finds that quality. You'd feel he'd have too much for Gabriel Clemens. I'm looking. Oh, it could be a, a big opening throw here. 140, double 10. And there we are, Gerwin Price off and running. State of intent in the opening leg. A 140 finish, hold a throw for the number one seed. Out of form, you said. 140 out shot, he said. He's to rectify his tops hitting against Jose de Souza. He was pulling low, wasn't he? he just, wasn't clinical enough on that double, as you feel that will have to be rectified for Gerwin Price. But this is a good response from Gabriel Clemens. If there are some early nerves, not showing them, dropped the first leg against the darts. A couple of two treble visits here. Ole, he's away again. Gerwin Price holding throw in the first leg of the match. Now after a break, holding throw there for the 28th time in 31 legs he started in the tournament. Nobody does it better, or no one has done it better, in this 2023 World Darts Championship. 63 scored. He, he'd been over to treble seven or a 25. He got that second treble. And made a bit of a mess in the end. Just threw him a little bit. Wasn't sure where to go with that third dart. So opportunity for Clemens here. Big ask. But it's on. It's a setup to leave double 16, but Price looking at a second three figure out shot on tops. Oh my word, what a start this is from the Iceman. Two three figure out shots in the opening two legs. A blistering start that has left the German bewildered. Emma said at the top of the show, is he due a statement performance? Well, it's a statement start, isn't it, Roddy's? Come up the blocks brilliantly here, Gerwin Price. Clemens has just got to try and withstand this and playing okay himself. Just hasn't been afforded any opportunities. This is what Clemens can do. Follows that first half really well. A nice fluent action. It's an opening set. It's only the third leg. We've seen slow starts in both the games today, Rod. In the other two quarterfinals, I should say. Not so here. Well, nothing slow about this from Gerwin Price. Ready to rock and roll from the firing of the starting gun. Went on the B of the bang. And down for treble 19. Lemons has just got to chip away at this and hope for the first opportunity to keep the set going. Otherwise, looking like a clean sweep for Gerwin. Good darts from Gabriel. So it's tops again for the set. In simply sensational style, Gerwin Price has rocketed through the first set of this quarter. Dropped two sets en route to the quarter-final and has the opener here. Winner to face Michael Smith in tomorrow night's semi-finals. Now, when this day of darts dawned, the bookmaking fraternity were preparing to make Michael Smith favourite to beat 
Gerwin Price if they met in the semi-final. There might be a shift in thinking from the professional odds makers after what we've seen today because Smith was not impressive and Price, if he continues like this, then my word. There's going to be some shifting in the odds, isn't there? Yeah, if he continues like this, certainly, yeah. It's only one set, and that's what Gabriel Clemens has got to say. He's just a set down. It was against the darts anyway. Clemens, who already mentioned, has dug himself out of a hole in round three against Jim Williams. Survived the match now. Finished in style with a 157 there as well. Been a lot to like about the performances of Gabriel in this event. This is the next step for him now. Well, Clemens should get on the board here. If he doesn't win this leg, it'll be off the back of multiple missed darts by him. Price flexes his muscles again just to let Clemens know he's still here. Tops for the German, and there it is. A big cheer for Gabriel Clemens as he lands his first leg of the match. You mentioned there's a lot of German fans in tonight, and you heard the roar there. You mentioned Rod. Around about 800 have made the trip. To see history made, a first German in the PDC quarterfinals. Gabriel's playing well. performances from Gerwin Price he's, he's never looked in any danger as he rod he dropped the opening set against Luke Woodhouse he said he was nervous in that first game yeah he, he quickly right to the shit there didn't he because had Woodhouse of course won the second set it would have started to get a little bit interesting wouldn't it but Price rectified matters and went on to win three sets to one with a little bit of comfort in the end as Clemens lands his first back swim you made the point, Mark, that uh, Clemens was playing well. It was just that Price was doing something quite exceptional in the first set. And yeah, Clemens now can, is in position to level the match. Yeah, and that's what Gabriel should have told himself in that break. I didn't do nothing wrong there. It was just the better player won the set. Can't take the 144. Max and Clemens was the 800 of the event. Is Price? I'll take just steadying himself. Goes inside. First time since he's missed out. So a double opportunity for Clemens for the break. Needs to feed on the mistakes of his opponent when they come. Double 11. And he does not dine out on the missed darts at double. Going to require 18. Early in the match, you feel them sort of opportunities will have to go for Gable. He's going to get some more, though. Got to split the 11. First errors in the match from both of them, really. Double four. And the German giant breaks the price throw. Strange game does. Gerwin Price hit three out of three at double in the first set and then promptly misses his first four at double at the start of the second. Gable Clemens. Giving himself that buffer in this set. He's got the darts anyway. He can wrap it up 3 0 and get himself level. Level. Double quick time. Just sends out a message to Gedwin Price that he's not overall here by the occasion, his first quarter final. Gargar has just got to keep that poker face, not give anything away to Price. To be fair to me, he rarely does. Gives a great deal away, Gabriel Clemens. Already looking like Price is going to wrestle the breaker throw back. Won't be alarm bells yet for Clemens. 
Missed this double in the previous leg, not on this occasion. Good response, 11 down leg from Gerwin Price, back on throw in the second set. Yeah, the previous leg, just the fourth time in the tournament, Price has had his throw broken. He's been incredibly solid on his throw. If he holds again here, the Iceman will go into a fifth and final and deciding leg in the second set. And it goes without saying, Mark, even at this early stage in the contest, it appears crucial. Doesn't have to go the way of Gabriel Clemens. It's a big ask. If he drops the opening two sets, we may not go to that deciding leg. Gabriel levels up the max counter to a piece. I'm not even sure that one. The point hit the board, it just got caught on the flight. Not on, so now just setting up because he's got plenty of daylight between himself and Price. That's good. Just sensible play from Clemens. And deserves his chance to level the match here. He's going to have three darts at 36. Price, who knows his race is running this set. Good response from Clemens, he's just got to finish this off and level us up, and he has done. Brilliant from Gabriel Clemens, gives us some there. Average around 103 in that set. But the Iceman rocked back and pegged back by Clemens after that blistering start by the Welshman in the first set. Really good comeback from Clemens so far, isn't it, Mark? Oh, if Price is his second, third 180, the fifth of the match. Kudos to Clemens here, Mark. Yeah, well, he just maintained his level, Rod, hasn't he? He played in the second set, like he did in the first set, got chances, took them, and he said he'd have gone in that first break, thinking, all right, I lost the set, there's not a lot he could have done about it, he didn't have any chances, but came out and levelled up. And it's Price's turn to respond here. He a year the ago, the nine data against Michael Smith, and he's at it again! He did it in Belfast twice in the same night, and on one of the occasions, he dropped the dart as well, Rob, mid-nine darter. He drops his darts a lot, getting in price, but doesn't adjust his focus. Happy New Year, is it? Happy anniversary on the nine dart front. He goes down to go up, but can't find the treble 19. So, one in the world, two in the Premier League, and one in the match play four in the calendar year of 2022 and what a start to 2023 that would be and you could see by the smile on his face he knew what everyone was thinking what we were thinking and what he was thinking he now wants tops for a 12 dart leg first dart of tops missed in the match two from three on tops he's one from 16 in his previous match a real poor return for Gedwin Price. Seems to have rectified it so far here. <laughs> Just attacked by a flyer of Wasper, Gabriel Clemens. And he's got himself back in touch here. Price double 12, cleans it up. Hold the throw in the opening leg. This is a contest of the highest quality. with the, both players, got him in price for raising his game. Gabriel Clemens just not letting the occasion get to him. First World Championship quarter-final. His best stuff yet of the World Championship. It is early in this quarter-final. Made a good start. Hunting his third max there. We see 
or two in the max cap. Clemens up scoring on the 140s. Even tight, average is pretty similar. Close to 105, Gabriel Clemens. 102 to Price. Another for the double five. Signal to left pull. Double five. Opportunity for Clemens here. May just be one at the bullseye. That's going to be two at double 12 if he needs him. Good marker though. He just pulls it inside. Double five again for Gerwin Bryce. Oh dear. One for double two. Double two. And unexpected mistakes on the doubles from both players here, given the high quality of everything else we've seen so far tonight. And Clemens cleans up. Any mistake Price has made, Clemens has took advantage so far. There we see. 7% four from seven for Clemens. Can't keep relying on mistakes, Clemens. He's got to be satisfied with the scoreline as it stands. One set and one leg apiece. Their last big TV clash was in the UK Open 2020. Price won, but only by ten legs to nine. And so he won't be surprised if Clemens really puts it up to him here tonight. Beautiful dance. I haven't met for a couple of years, have they? The last meeting was a, a World Cup rubber. And Gary Price arguably not playing as well as he was two years ago when they last met. Clemens, arguably playing the best stars of his career. And Price is playing well tonight. Treble 20 leaves the bullseye. Chance for Clemens, big opportunity. B for the breaker, throwing him, then throw for the two sets to one lead. Double eight, double four. Brilliant dive from Gabriel Clemens. There are the opportunities that have to go, and so far so good. He's been taking those opportunities. He's five for nine on the doubles. He's got a break. He's throwing for a two sets to one lead here. And now. The German underdog is really putting it up to the former world champion. Gabriel Clemens has found some gears in this world championship. His best performance on a world championship stage was 98 and a half average when he beat Peter Wright two years ago. Well, he's eclipsing that. It's early days, but. Playing above his normal level here. Thriving on being in a quarter-final for the first time. And doing a real good job so far. The, Mark, this may be a question for Mardell, who actually wrote the darting dictionary, but can you be embroiled in the third set of a match? Is Price already embroiled? Embroiled normally when it gets a bit scrappy. Yeah. His opponent's just playing better than him. He's, he's averaging 107, Gabriel Clemens. He's gone the other way, you thought, maybe the occasion might get to him. He's thriving on it to wrap up set three. 17. He'll get more darts. He needs a lot here to ask a question you would feel, because Clemens has got three clear darts at double ten, regardless of what Price chucks here. And now he's got half a dozen at it from here. For the set. And a sensational lead. Not yet. Through that last out quite quickly. And if Price can put a 140 in here, even a turn, Clemens has got to navigate through this awkward double five. Cheering as he drops the dart. <laughs> he does it quite often and he's generally on point when he does drop it. So big moment now for Clemens. Should have the set wrapped up already. Can't afford to do this, Rodgers, as well as he's played. Well, you miss and miss and miss and miss again against this man. 
and you ask for trouble. Look at that, the ball, because he, he drifted into the treble three. This ain't a gimme for Clemens. First real messy leg of the match, but Clemens gets it in the end. He deserved that set. Just giving himself a little telling off that he wasn't a bit more clinical, but he got the job done. A set against the dart. Gabriel Clemens leads. Two sets to one. Here's the former world champion. A fifth maxi. And it's worth remembering that Gerwin Price ran off the first set in 42 darts in just over five minutes with an average of 107 himself. Clemens has simply just said, so what? Is that the best you've got? It is exactly that approach. He's playing better than Gerwin Price. Deserves to be two sets to one in front, but that set went away from Gedwin in the second leg, missing darts at doubles. Allowing Clemens to rattle off the next three. And we only require 81. It's happened a lot. Gabriel Clemens had a few times where he scored so well, Rod, he's been able to just tee up a shot. And it's a testament to how well he's playing. Yes. The last two legs, Mark, Clemens has been at the finishing post with Price 200 plus behind. Double eight. Double four. And in the last leg, he missed four darts at a double to finish it off, and he's just started missing again. Yeah, needs to address that, Gabriel Clemens, because wow. you'll just invite pressure in the wrong legs. And if he was to go on and lose a leg like this, it can have a bit of a lasting effect. It's hard to shake off legs, you've been cruising in. Double two again, is it? Up to double one. And now he's just starting to unravel on the doubles. Now he needs a little bit of a leg up from Price. But Price can't find a treble 18 to go with a single, and now Clemens gets another three here at double four. And no mistake this time, but there was a lot of faffing before the finishing. But Gabe Clemens is overall putting together the performance of his life here. He's had a 180 in the last two legs. He finished them both eventually in 19 darts. So starting to stray a little bit at the end, but because he's scoring so well and getting so far ahead in the leg, he's being afforded those opportunities, and that'll disappoint Price. When he's missed, he's not really... Well, he's been on a shot, but he's made a mess of it, hasn't he? The 77 and not going to go on the ball on the 1-2-2. Break a throw, unless Price can hit the 170. Bullseye! Pulls it wide. Again, Clemens. Could be a bullseye bid at the end of this, couldn't there? Another single would leave a shot at the middle of the board. And both players have missed the ball in this leg. Both missed it by a fair way as well. 12, he likes his section of the board, Gerwin Price, and he's playing with a smile on his face, that indicates he's not overly worried yet. Clemens got the darts in this set, there's a break after this set as well, key moments coming up. Well, you talk about him not being overly worried, maybe it's just a mask, Mark. Surely any player would be concerned at this. Two sets to one down, maybe not so, but the level his opponent is playing at would rattle anyone's cage. I think Clemens has surprised him a little. Gerwin knows how good Clemens is, but maybe thought he'd feel it a little bit in his first quarter final. And so far, no indication he has a few missed starts at doubles. 
not been costly. The relentless attack on the treble 20 continues from Clemens. And again, pulling himself away in a leg. And just here, again, he'll take a 96, he'll take a turn. He'll take the 136, ideally. Here we go, Clemens. Brilliant shot. And he's up for it, he's giving it some. He's dominating at the minute. He had a chance in the previous leg at the ball as well. First turn plus finish for Clemens in the match. He's had some biggies during the tournament. 157 is highest. Yeah, he's had a 130 plus in all three of his games, hasn't he? As you said, the 157 the highest against gentleman Jim Williams. Big passage of play in coming here. Price levels up. We have then a deciding leg before we go to a break. And whilst Price hasn't been at his best, the only real hole he's had to dig himself out of was going 1-0 down in his opening match against Luke Woodhouse. Otherwise, it's all been plain sailing. 4-0 against Raymond Van Barneville after that. 4-1 against Jose de Souza. This would be a serious obstacle for him. Yeah, no dramas at all against Barney or De Souza, but now he's embroiled in what could turn out to be a full nine act play in which the script is not being followed. 54. He's got a 136. He'll go for a couple of treble 19s. The preferred route from players. No staying up there. Another one of them. 98. Well, now, Gerwin Price has made a living out of hitting this target. But he's struggling to find it now. And he can't get the bailout shot on double 10. And now Gabriel Clemens is one dart away from a three sets to one lead over the world's number one dartist. And when Gerwin Price blitzed through set one, he didn't expect this response. Can he finish it? He can right in the corner. Clemens leads three sets to one against the, the number one seed. Two sets down against Gabriel Clemens. Let's uh, rejoin. Mark Webster and Rod Studd. Well, I have literally never seen the like of it. As he hammers in a maximum. I hope he can hear the call from Russ Bray with those on. What's the theory here? Cut out the crowd noise, motivational music. Maybe he's listening to your commentary, Mark, <laughs> or maybe there's an important competition on a local radio station he doesn't want to miss. Well, they're literally just ear defenders, aren't they? They're what you've used. You're, you advise to use them work when you're drilling and stuff like that to block out noise and it, it, it's clearly obvious that the, the crowd are bugging him and he just wants to block it out but yeah not what we expected we've seen Mervyn King where the, 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 the little one that used to expand the little foam ones Rob but they're a little bit more subtle than these ones Well, maybe he's got a bit of uh, vanilla ice in his ears there. Maybe a bit of Tom Jones. Never mind, it's not unusual. It's very unusual. Desired effect so far in leg one. And Price takes the opening. <laughs> it is funny just seeing the same Gerwin Price giving it some playing well. <laughs> What are we watching here? Back to business, Gedwin Price has held through pretty convincingly in the opening leg here. Absolutely ludicrous scenes on the biggest starting stage of all. He's turning a World Championship quarter final into a fully blown pantomime. 
Gerwin can't hear you. 66. Well, get back to serious position. He needs to get back on track. He's held in the opening leg. Oh. Clearly, nothing in the rules about wearing ear defenders. Let me get a good look at him. It's key that Clemens keeps focused here, though, isn't it? Doesn't he get sidetracked by all this? He's opened up a healthy lead. He's two sets away from the semi finals of the World Championship. Well, difficult to concentrate on what's going on in terms of the scoring here. 95 left here for Clemens. 96. Will we require 95? Clemens. 95 for the second leg. Down for the double. Now the outside chance for Gedwin Price. He's had a 140 and a 110 in the match. It's not going to be accompanied by a 147. 87. Will we require 16? Double eight then for the German. Frustration. Salvation. <laughs> Levels up the fifth set. Just got a glimpse of Bill Clemens' partner, Lisa, watching on. He said he's had a lot of media attention over in Germany. Lots of people following his progress. And he's doing them proud at the minute, looking for the 180 there. German football star Thomas Muller has been on social media supporting Gabriel Clemens. Yeah, Dimitri van der Berg was inviting half the Belgian national football team, wasn't he, after he won to the semi-final. If Gabe Clemens does similarly with Thomas Muller and Cal, we could have some of the world's top footballers in the house. Could have a Belgian versus Germany warm-up in the car park. Clemens is pulling away in this leg. Gedwin Price in trouble here. Three sets to one down. The throw under threat again. Ten gets it. Double ten for Clemens. Just the wrong side of the wire. Eighteen leaves tops to edge in front in the fifth. Double ten. Double five, never been the easiest switch. But it makes it look simple, and Gabe Clemens enters in front in the fifth. Well, uh, at the start of this set, the circus came to town at Alexandra Palace with Gerwin Price sporting the headset. But who is going to be the ringmaster at the end of the night, at the end of this match? Clemens is in dream man now. He could be going one set away from the semi-finals of the World Championship. A guaranteed paycheck already of £50,000. That doubles to 100000 And he's not far away. He's really cracking the whip here now, Gabriel Clemens. And Gerwin Price what? is walking the World Championship tightrope. Here. Pull it away in a leg yet again. Odds on now to go four sets to one in front in a race of five. One run up, Fulton, the real Empire 46. Go, Sharon, and there it is. 
is, as Mark Webster said, 4-1 in sets in a race to five. Gavin definitely didn't have the desired effect in the previous set, and if he's going to make the semi-finals here, Gavin Price, he needs four consecutive sets. It's a big ask, Rod Studd. Absolutely, Mark. Just when you think you've seen it all in darts, Gavin Price emerges onto stage in a set of giant headphones, but no longer getting messages from air traffic control where to land these darts. He's now resorted to just the simple earplugs. Will that change anything? You'd think he'd probably need to get a bulldozer to stop Gabriel Clemens the way he's playing this evening. Can't see Clemens letting a rod. It's going to take Gavin Price to produce something. Clemens has been solid from the word go. Even the first set, he dropped. He played well. It's a big ask for Gavin Price. Just he just got a little distracted in the last set and a half and this man certainly has it he stayed focused well it's a leg in which clemens has the throw a set a leg and set in which clemens has the throw so price needs a break in this set and it seems as though his opportunity in leg number one is receding double 16. How many times at the end of a leg has Gabriel Clemens been afforded misses? So for the opening leg in a set that if Gabriel Clemens wins, he knows he's going to the semi-finals of the World Championship. And it goes. The edge is closer and closer and closer. He's missed 28 darts and a double in this match, but it hardly matters. In most, in many legs, he's been so far in front, he's been able to miss great clumps of darts at double and still win those legs. It's been a simply sensational scoring session of darts from the German giant. Gavin Price, his match average is around about 94 and a half, and that's basically pretty much where he's been at for the tournament. It's not got much better than that. The man they call Gaga, but it's Price who's lost the plot this evening. And Clemens looks like losing absolutely nothing. Now when Gabriel Clemens came to the venue tonight, he knows he's playing the best darts of his career, and he'll have fancied it. Well, he never have dreamt of this scoreline, Rod. He's in complete control. And that takes him down to 46. Price looks a beaten man. He's being beaten by the better man. Clemens has taken it to him after dropping the opening set. Clemens on course here for his first ton plus average in the World Championship. Once double 16 again. And this match could well be over in a hurry now because Clemens is racing towards the finishing line and showing no signs whatsoever of clincher's disease. Quite the contrary. It's a completely dominant performance. Four sets to one. Two legs to nil in the set. 14 7 in leg play. Gabriel Clemens is almost there. What we're watching is something that most observers expected to be in complete reverse. Price winning by around 5-1 with a ton-plus average, but instead we're watching something absolutely exceptional from the 39-year-old German, having the night of his life and making Price look mediocre at best. Kevin Price, who won the title two years ago, would drop £450,000 on his ranking. We'd see him provisionally go to fourth in the world rankings. Clemens has had one of these, a 136. Price won't be following suit. And Clemens now moves to match point. The three dark combination on offer to finish Price off in the most appropriate of fashions.
like to stay on the treble 16, but he just kicked the cross to treble. Tees it up, and this has to go for Gedwin Price. Tops to keep him alive in the World Championship. And he can't make it. The story of the match. And the story of the match is that this man has been the better player, and he has chances now to finish it off. A double four. And the German causes a giant upset to march into the semi finals of the World Darts Championship to face Michael Smith. A red hot display that melted the Iceman. Price won the first set in sensational style, but after that, it was all Clemens, all Clemens. And he ran the next five sets straight in absolutely wonderful style to romp home and then. The first German player in the semi-finals. Can you believe what you've just done? <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, thank you, Germany. <laughs> I have no words for this. It's uh, amazing. I beat the world number one and the quarters in the world. It's absolutely amazing for me. Yeah, as you say, you've dumped out Gezi Price, the world number one. Just going to ask, what did you think when he came out with the headphones on, with the ear defenders on? Well, I look at my game. Uh, I play good the, the, the whole game, and uh, I will play my game, and then to, that's it. You obviously rattled him, but look, you've got so much support here. But back home, are you aware of the record-breaking numbers that are watching you on TV? Over 1.5 million Germans were watching you get to the quarters, and even more tonight. I hope. I, I don't understand the question. <laughs> It's so loud here, it's uh, amazing. Saying, you've got a lot of support. <laughs> Thank you. Just one more before you go and celebrate, Gabriel. Have you got a message for all the millions of people watching back home? Happy New Year. <laughs> Short and sweet, Gabriel, well done, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Well, it is very loud in here.